Shalomi guys and welcome back to the channel. Jonathan the Code Searcher back again. I know it's been a long time. Long story short, YouTube has had me on restriction for a couple of weeks. As a matter of fact, I just got off and uh, I've been chomping at the bits for a few days because of this balloon thing that's going on. Now, here's something I want to share with you. I want you to look at it. And then we're going to cover a couple of other things. Take a look at this. This was January 30th. I hope this is going to come in okay. The video is not so good, but I do have a shot on the phone uh, that we can zoom into. <clears throat> but this was January 30th. We're sitting in this. This is in South Florida in Miami Shores, sitting around with a few friends, about four or five of us. And I see something in the sky that's glowing. And it's because the sun is at such an angle that there's something uh, up in the sky. It looks like an orb glowing. Um, and moving very, very slowly, you guys. This is before I heard anything about Chinese balloons or anything like that. Watch, watch the video. So my friend's trying to zoom into it, and it's very pixelated. We couldn't see it on the on the actual video, and you can see me uh, down here tracking it, uh, talking with my friend there, uh, Argentine Hebrew. Anyway. Uh, didn't come out in the video, but the actual picture, and I really hope I'm able to, let me just make sure. Stop, share, share again. Now, I'm not even kidding, you guys. I thought this was like a, a flying, uh, you know, like a UFO or something like that. Well, there you can see it right here in uh, the center of the screen. And it's really, really high up there. I mean, really high. So let's, Let's try to zoom into it just a little bit. It does get very pixelated, but you can see it's there. It's, that, it's, it's a white orb, and uh, it's over South Florida. Now, I know there's reports of one right now over the central part of the United States, but one's also been seen in South America. You guys, I submit there's possibly uh, others that are out there because we definitely saw one. No question about it. Right there. So, um, yeah, question is, is it in the codes? And quick answer, yes, it is. I found two uh, access terms um, so far, and both have multiple uh, occurrences, with meaning for each access term, there's multiple tables there, one being Chinese uh, balloon, the other being spy balloon. Uh, here's what's interesting about this, you guys, and alarming, is in World War II, during World War II, Japan did something very similar. They released dozens of balloons, but the difference was they had explosives on them, like, like you know, uh, grenades and things like that that would uh, detonate on impact. And their hope was that they would start firestorms across the uh, United States. Of course, they were ineffective, and uh, many of them were found in various places all over. You can Google this and find that I'm telling you the truth on this. So, the Chinese are not the first to do this. The Japanese did it in World War II. You guys, so what's going on? That's the big question. Is it a preamble of something else? What are they surveilling? Uh, these are some really, you know, interesting questions we need to get to the bottom of. Uh, I have, and myself and others, who have researched this, World War III, the coming war that's going to happen all around the world, and the eerily similarities that this has to world war one particularly what's what, what's happening right now with ukraine and russia which is a is a um isolated war even though there are proxies involved it is in one region but the very same thing happened in world war one where it started very small other countries were brought in over the four years that uh, world war happened and before long uh, it was a very brutal and bloody war all right, so um, interesting similarities. We found the same thing back when the comet, excuse me, the uh, eclipse happened. The other one going to happen in 2024. The meaning behind all that, remember you guys, I did a video more than a year uh, before the actual thing happened, uh, telling you that there was possibly a pandemic. Well, this was based off the what has happened before, what's happened in well, during World War I. There was a Spanish flu. There was a world war. Uh, so it was 
you know, basically the same things going on. So here we are. Guys, um, I don't know what's going on with the YouTube algorithms, but they hem me up twice in less than six months. The first time this happened, I was at my mom's, and uh, it, it was the very same way. It, I got hit with one strike. They gave me a one-week restriction, and then just right after that, right after the strike ended, or, or actually the, the restriction ended, because the strike stays on your record for like two, three months. But after it ended, and I can record again, soon after that, I got a second strike, and I had two weeks to go before I could record now the, sec the same thing has happened again. That happened to me here recently. And uh, I can show you here on my channel dashboard that I got pulled up. Just give me a second. So you can feel me. Uh, it has been um, very stressful for me. Two out of three community guidelines. This will be on my record until the first one expires April 6th, the other one April 20, 20th. Uh, so I got the first one on January 6th. The second one came on January 20th, and I had two weeks uh, where I couldn't post anything. Well, that is now up, you guys, and now I can. I still have to be very careful um, because any any more um, strikes, and, and they'll delete my channel. So here's what I did. I went through my content with a fine tooth comb and, and during this time, you guys, and I erased and dumped hundreds and hundreds of videos that might have you know i didn't even question it so um, a lot of things were lost on youtube i had to clean house and do some drastic things but it is what it is here's the good news i was able to archive a lot of that over at what's called odyssey i do have an odyssey channel that is set up only got three followers so far but as you can see um a lot of the videos that i have are already over there they uh they sync over to that. I do have a bit shoot. So if you guys would like to, please go find me at the code searcher on bit shoot. I have no subscribers yet. Code searcher on Odyssey. I'm also on Rumble now. So I've covered all the bases, you guys, just in case they, they come at me again. I still got to be really careful on YouTube. Find me on Rumble, code searcher. You can also find me on Twitter, the code searcher. Um, there's also another account that I got locked out of when I got hacked the first time when I lost my first Facebook account, yada, yada, yada. Here we are again. So if you guys would like, please go and help me out a little bit. Um, I got to uh, open up some other avenues just in case they, they shut me down. And if they do, it is what it is. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, please keep me in prayer. You guys, I know you got, there, there are many of you that are already doing that. Um, it's, it's been a long, hard journey this past year. Many of you know I'm going through this divorce. I'm hopefully going to wrap this up sometime soon and be done with it. Um, I am looking to settle where I am because it's, it's a, uh, it is a climate more conducive to what I've been acclimated to over the six years, five years, five and a half years I was on the island uh, when I get back to the mainland. It's very hard for me to acclimate back, especially with the with winter and overcast skies and things like that. You guys, I've been suffering with seasonal depression and going through this divorce, compounding things, making it even worse. So it's been very difficult for me. OK, um, I just got to make myself boom, boom and let you know what's going on. OK, I know you guys, some of you don't want to know the business. But I've been gone a while and many of you concerned. I get emails all the time, code searcher, what's going on. and so. Um, and I don't always get to respond to those. I mean, I'd be on the computer all day long if I did that. So doing a video and letting you know right off uh, the rip is probably the best way. So I am still here, you guys. Please have patience with me. If you're waiting on uh, your personal code, like I said on the last time I spoke to you, uh, I still have all the names that are uh, that are remaining that I still have to get um, codes for and out to. So that's not going anywhere. I've had to take a little time off of that to deal with uh, the things that are going on in my life, you guys. Um, this divorce, trying to relocate, finding permanent you know, shelter for myself, um, all kinds of things that I can't even get into, you guys, because this is just not the place for it. So please continue to keep me in, in prayer and, um, and have patience with me if I still owe you a code. I am committed to that. 
I will not let you down. You can ask the others who have already got theirs. It is worth the wait. Please be patient with me. This is a very difficult time in my life. And um, I'm doing the best I can, you guys. And I'm not the best at navigating this. Uh, actually, I kind of suck. Okay. And so it's, it takes a lot for me to get through the day. I have to lean on Yeshua every day. Um, and, and he's been very good to me. The Father has blessed me. He's kept me sustained. He's put people in my life that have lifted me up and edified and um, counseled and, uh, you know, prayed with me and all these kinds of things are very important. So I thank you for that. I thank you for, for the few that have stood with me through this very difficult year in spite of the slander and the awful things said. Thank you uh, for that. Thank you for believing in me and sticking by my side. I love you and Yahuwah loves you. So that is all I have for you guys. I will try to get a couple of those codes work for you. And so we can see a little more of what's going on with these balloons. Until then, may Yahuwah bless you, make his face shine upon you and keep you. Shalom. May Yahuwah bless you.